I like to call this the Cool Papa Bell experiment. Cool Papa Bell was the African-American professional baseball player in what were called the Negro Leagues, who was so fast, it was said, that he could turn off the lights and be in bed before it got dark. In this experiment, we are going to use a photo detector, which is off the screen over here. Uh, we're going to use that to look at the intensity of light in a room such as this as a function of time. What I have here is a trace that I get for fluorescent lights that are lighting this room. The horizontal scale is time, with each of these minor blocks being 10 milliseconds, or 1 one hundredth of a second. The vertical scale is the intensity of light. Notice when the voltage that, uh, that the fluorescent la lamp is, uh, is seeing goes from plus 110 volts to zero volts, and then back to minus 110 volts, which happens 120 times per second. Every time it flips like that, the intensity falls by about half and then returns to its original value. So what happens if I turn this thing, if I turn off the lights? Let's try. What happens is this. The intensity falls off very dramatically, very sharply. It falls off by a factor of one half in about 10 milliseconds. I'm going to repeat this with a different type of lamp. Behind the oscilloscope, I have an incandescent lamp. Let me uh, adjust things here. There's the signal from that lamp, and I'm going to change the scale here. Notice that the AC component is much smaller relative to the DC component from here to the baseline than it was for the fluorescent lamp. Let's see what happens if I set this thing up to show me what happens when I turn off the light. I'm going to do one more thing, and that is I'm going to change the time scale. So, let's see, find the right button here. There we go. And let me turn off the lamp. Wow. That's, that's a sharp drop-off, except now each of these blocks is 50 milliseconds. So this thing falls off by a factor of 2 in about 30 milliseconds instead of 10 milliseconds. As a final note, let me just point out, incandescent bulbs have such a slow fall-off time because the bulb, the, the uh, filament in the bulb, has to cool off from several thousands of degrees in order for it to get dark. In fluorescent tubes, there's no such high temperature, but it still takes a time, uh, some amount of time for it to decay. In an LED, the response is much quicker. And it turns out that LEDs are much more efficient than fluorescent bulbs and incandescent bulbs. Incandescent bulbs are only about 5% efficient at converting electrical energy into usable light. Fluorescents are about 20% efficient. LEDs, theoretically, there's no limit to those going up to a close to 100% efficiency. And so in the next decade or two, LEDs are likely to phase out fluorescence and incandescence, turning them into antiques.